Some frozen pipes are bursting, causing serious damage to homes and businesses. Our Megan Hickey is live with what you can do to prevent it from happening in your home. Megan. Right, Karen, pipes are freezing and bursting across Chicagoland, and plumbers and fire departments alike are asking residents to get professional help. How could something so small cause so much damage? It was like a waterfall. Brenda Andrews has been waiting for a fix for more than four days. Over the whole house. Water was just flooded my whole house and just damaged my, everything in my house. To top it all off, she says her heat went out the same day the pipe burst. I need help. It's hard to imagine, but the outcome was even worse for this homeowner in Aurora, who tried to fix his frozen pipes himself on New Year's Eve. The Aurora Fire Department tells us he used a propane heater, and three alarm fire caused more than $175,000 worth of damages. And the bad thing is they can all be avoided. Robert Revels from R&R Plumbing Technicians in Homewood tells me running the faucets could have done wonders for these residents. A small trickle of water on both the hot and cold side, so you're covering both sides of that water, is all you need to help eliminate any frozen pipes. He also recommends opening kitchen and bathroom cabinets to allow air to circulate around the pipes. If they do freeze, absolutely don't reach for the blowtorch. Revels showed us how he uses a special thawing machine. Turn that baby on, and as soon as it starts to, to send that electric current through there, it safely thaws that line. He said it will be worth it in the end. I know everybody tries to save a few bucks. I get it. I'm one of them. But call the plumber or call somebody who's knowledgeable about uh, thawing those pipes. And even the mayor's office is chiming in. Mayor Emanuel tweeting this video today demonstrating how to insulate a pipe to keep it from freezing in the cold. Now, Aurora's fire department is also asking residents to get professional help. The New Year's Eve fire was the second frozen pipe-related fire in just three days. Reporting live, Megan Hickey, ABC7 Eyewitness News.